good morning students welcome to uh, mathematics class of standard 8 today we are going to start with chapter 4 that is altitudes and medians of a triangle students let's start with our first topic of the chapter that is altitudes first we will define altitude of a triangle the perpendicular segment drawn from a vertex of a triangle on the side opposite to it is called an altitude of the triangle now students you can see here we have got three vertices of this triangle p q and r and we have drawn perpendicular to the opposite side from all three vertices so you can see ps is perpendicular to qr qt is perpendicular to pr and ru is perpendicular to pq that means a triangle can have three altitudes and altitudes are concurrent concurrent means here they will pass through a single point we have done in the previous classes so i'll remind you again that if three or more lines pass through same point then they are called as concurrent lines so here you can see altitudes are passing through the same point so we can call them as concurrent lines now we will see properties of altitudes of triangle as we already discussed that uh, altitudes are concurrent lines so the point of concurrence of altitudes of triangle are called as orthocenter orthocenter is usually denoted by letter o the ortho center of a right angle triangle is vertex containing right angle that means the point where right angle is formed so that is going to be the point of concurrence of altitudes next the ortho center of an obtuse angle triangle is in the exterior in the triangle exterior means it will be outside the triangle okay so if a triangle is obtuse angle triangle obtuse means one of the angle is more than 90 degree in such case ortho center will lie outside the triangle next point is the ortho center of an acute angle triangle is in the interior of the triangle so interior means here it is inside the triangle okay so that means position of the ortho center changes according to the type of the triangle students so, now we will see median of a triangle let's define what is median first the segment joining the vertex and midpoint of the opposite side is called the median of a triangle so you can see in diagram vertex a is joined with the midpoint of side bc midpoint here is d so i hope you remember midpoint of a segment divides the segment into equal parts so ad here is a median okay similarly vertex b is joined with the midpoint of side ac so be is median and similarly cf is also median 
so that means a triangle has three medians because there are three vertices so only three medians are possible the medians of a triangle are concurrent you can see they are passing through the same point and we have named the point of concurrence as g the point of concurrence of median is called the centroid and it is usually denoted by letter g centroid g is always in the interior of the triangle so it does not depend upon type of the triangle so whether it is acute angle triangle right angle triangle or obtuse angle triangle centroid will always lie in the interior okay and the last point is the centroid divides each median in the ratio 2 is to 1 okay Friends, now we will see practice set 4.1. Look at the first sum. We have got a triangle LMN, and there are two segments drawn from vertex L, LX and LY. The question is, in triangle LMN, dash is an altitude. and dash is a median so dash is fill in the blanks that we have to fill over there what is the correct option so we have two segments lx and ly so if we recall the definition an altitude is perpendicular drawn from the vertex so you can see clearly in the figure that lx is perpendicular so you will write there segment lx is an altitude whereas y is midpoint of m because y is dividing segment in equal part so ly is median of the triangle because median joins the vertex and midpoint of the opposite side so here ly is a median so then so now we will see problem number 7 from practice sec 4.1 students we are not doing uh, today problem number 2 to 6 because they all are construction sums and construction sums we are going to do in the next class so today we are doing only problem number 1 and 7 uh, which are uh, based on the properties of altitude and median okay so as you can see in the figure in triangle abc uh, three medians are given bq cr and ap and their point of concurrence is g so we know that point of concurrence of median is centroid so it is already given in the question point g is centroid of triangle abc so using this property we we'll find out gc bq ag and gp okay now we'll see first part of problem number 7 as we know the property of median that the centroid divides the each median in the ratio 2 is to 1 so we can write the ratio as length of gc upon length of gr equals to 2 upon 1 now substitute the value of gr which is already given in question 2.5 then we'll cross multiply 2.5 with 2 and 1 with gc so multiplying by 1 will remain as it is whereas multiplying by 2 into 2.5 that will give me 5 so that is my first answer length of gc is going to be 5 students now we will see second part of the problem number 7 again using the same property that centroid g divides the median it ratio 2 is to 1 so now we are going to see length of bg upon length of gq becomes 2 upon 1 bg is already given to you 6 so you will substitute here 
upon g q equal to 2 upon 1. So if I cross multiply, I will get g q equals to 6 upon 2, that is 2 3 zero, 6. So g q equals to 3. Okay. Now as we are asked to find length of b q, so we can see that point b, g and q, they are collinear points. So I can write here bg plus gq is equal to bq. So 6 plus 3, bg is already given 6 and gq we have found 3. So 6 plus 3 equals to 9. So this was our second part of the problem number 7. If you look at third part, using same property, I can say that g divides median AP in ratio 2 is to 1. So I can write here length AG upon GP equal to 2 upon 1. So if I cross multiply, I will get length of AG is twice length of GP. Okay, that means AG is double of GP. Now we don't know both the segments, so we are going to assume here let GP is X so ag is going to be 2x because it is double so using collinearity property ag plus gp equals to ap so i will substitute the assumed value 2x plus x equals to 6 now we know that 2x plus x become 3x so x equals to 6 upon 3 and 3 to the 6 so i will get here x is equal to 2 now substitute x is equal to 2 in expression gp and ag so you will get gp as 2 and ag is double of that that is 4 okay so in this part we have done the application of centroid okay centroid divides the median in ratio 2 is to 1 okay Students, today I am giving you four MCQs as assignment. So learn the properties and then using that complete the assignment. Now in this chapter construction part is remaining now and in the next class we are going to do construction of this chapter. Thank you.